Basic attitude instrument flying is a skill that pilots must develop when visual references outside, such as the horizon, are unavailable during flight. This skill is important because in low visibility conditions, pilots need to be able to fly solely using their instruments. Although private pilots are required to maintain visual reference to the ground below them, it is highly important that they practice flying without reference to the horizon in case they were to encounter low visibility situations or accidentally fly into clouds. The fundamental skills of instrument flying are instrument cross-check, instrument interpretation, and aircraft control. The pilot first must read their instrument's indications to determine the trends and attitude of their aircraft by cross-checking those indications with other instruments. When performing a cross-check, pilots are confirming information is correct by checking a secondary instrument. This backs up the information given by the primary instrument, reinforcing correct information constantly during flight. Scanning is extremely important because it requires the most concentration and attention. The pilot's eyes should move evenly across the instruments during flight, with special attention being given to the primary instruments. Pilots should make sure they are never fixating on a single spot for too long. When a pilot is interpreting the data they are collecting during their scans and cross-checks, they need to take a moment to digest that information and make the necessary adjustments to remain in control of the aircraft. They must interpret the indications from the instruments and make the necessary adjustments to create or maintain the desired flight profile. Finally, the pilot confirms the aircraft is performing in the way they desire after making necessary adjustments based on the instrument's indications. Once the pilot has processed the information they have collected during their scan, cross-check, and interpretation of the flight instruments, they then make the adjustments in the form of altering the pitch, bank, and power of the aircraft. Remember, in instrument conditions, a pilot should always rely on their aircraft instruments for the correct information. Never believe the feelings your body may be experiencing, as it may end up giving you false information, causing you to make a mistake. When transitioning to a different flight attitude, the pilot must reference their instruments and make the adjustments. For example, in straight and level flight, the pilot wants to transition into a climb. They would use the attitude indicator to pitch the aircraft up. As they pitch up, they allow the airspeed to decrease and then add power and continue to scan the primary instruments for an airspeed climb. Transition is the only time the attitude instrument is the primary instrument. There are two methods of instrument interpretation and cross-checking that pilots can use to ensure they are properly interpreting their instruments to get the performance they desire. The first method is called the primary and secondary flight instrument method. When maneuvering using the instruments, pilots must focus on two things, their primary instrument and their secondary instrument. A primary instrument is the instrument which gives the pilots the most information about a flight maneuver. Every instrument in flight maneuver has three primary instruments those being pitch, bank, and power. The secondary instrument is used to confirm the information given by the primary instrument is correct. Pilots should never rely on the information from only one instrument. They should always back up the primary instrument indications with the secondary instrument indications to ensure they are in agreement for the desired condition of flight. The second method is called the control performance method. This requires the pilot to identify which instruments are considered control and performance instruments. Control instruments are constants and are the attitude and power indicators on the aircraft. In the Cessna 172, the only power indicator is the tachometer, which displays the engine's RPMs, since it has a fixed pitch propeller. In the Piper Seminole, there are two power indicators, the tachometer and manifold pressure. All other instruments are considered performance instruments because they verify the aircraft performance based upon inputs to the two control instruments. Control performance is an easy to remember formula that helps pilots control the aircraft. That formula is pitch plus power equals performance. The aircraft has all the references and information pilots need to maintain stable flight in low visibility conditions. Remaining engaged and remembering the primary and secondary references will aid in ensuring your information is correct all while maintaining course until the pilot's visibility returns. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.